The following is a class on Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 2, Text Number 20th, given by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on 23rd August 1972 in Los Angeles. Translation. Thus established in the mode of goodness, the man rejuvenated by loving service to the Lord gains liberation from material association, mukti, and comes to know scientifically of the personality of Godhead. Hmm. So, Bhagavad Tattva Vigyana. Vigyana means science. It is not concoction, speculation. It is a science. Just like mathematics is a science. Two plus two equal to four. You cannot make two plus two equal to five according to your whims. No. Anywhere you go, it doesn't matter. Because it is science, so either in America or in India or in England, everyone will accept two plus two equal to four. That is science. Science is true everywhere. Not that I can imagine my God according to my whims. You can imagine your God. That is going on. Now, how you can imagine? There is no question of imagining. <clears throat> this Bhagavad Tattva Vijnanam, this truth, this science can be understood by a person who is Mukta Sangha. Mukta Sangha. Mane, free from material association. Uh, he can understand. Mukta Sangha Sajayat. And the condition is evang prasanna manasu. When you are enlightened, ingladdened, uh, because so long we are in, in the jurisdiction of ignorance and passion, there cannot be any uh, jubilant. There cannot be any enlightenment. Therefore you have to come to the platform of goodness. As it is stated in the previous, tadarajastamo bhava kamalu bhadayaschaji cheta etai ranavidhyam cheta. Everything is working within the heart. The whole thing, heart is the central point of this body. So, uh, when the heart is not <coughs> punctured by the uh, rajagun and tamagun, and you become situated on the modes of goodness, then you become jubilant. Uh, jubilant means he can understand at that time that why these people are working so hard, like cats and dogs. Hmm? The human life is meant for understanding what is God. This life is meant for simply understanding what is God. Hmm? The animal life, they cannot understand. That life is different. But the human life is developed. Uh, consciousness is developed. He can understand. <coughs> this is called goodness. Uh, uh, How one becomes intelligent? <laughs> he can study when he is on the platform of goodness. He can study the nature. So why I shall work so hard for getting my material necessities? Uh, this is being supplied by nature. The birds and bees, 
they are getting their food, they are getting their mates, they are being protected in their own way. <clears throat> they have got a sleeping nest apartment. So even a, an animal, even a small ant, we sit down in the garden, we see, they are, even the small ant, it has got family, it has got home, it has got eating, everything is there. From ant to the elephant, <coughs> we supply, they have no business, they do not do any business, they have no profession, but they are getting their necessities of life. Therefore, intelligent person, this is, goodness means intelligent, prakash. Ignorance means darkness. In darkness we cannot see what is what. Uh, <coughs> so, goodness means light. <coughs> Anyone can see that there are eight million four hundred thousand species of life or forms of life. They are getting their food, they are getting their shelter, they are satisfying their sex, they are also defending without any uh, extra endeavor. By nature they are doing their own way. <clears throat> so why human being, so-called civilized human being, is so much harassed for these four things? Huh? We have got better intelligence, uh, we shall be rather uh, more comfortable uh, without struggling for existence than the animals, but our struggle for existence is greater than their struggle of existence. What is this civilization? This is not civilization. Uh, everyone wants peaceful, calm life, even those who are struggling so hard, big business magnet, still at the weekend, they find out some secluded place, nice place without trouble. That is the nature, that human nature should be like that. Then why should we work so hard simply for eating, sleeping, mating? Uh, this is a wrong type of civilization. But at the modern age, uh, the uh, human society is so made that one has to work like ass whole day and night simply for satisfying these four necessities of life. That is also not guaranteed. Uh, we, we thought that in your country, when I was in India, I was contemplating to coming to your country, I thought that America is very rich. There is no problem for eating, sleeping, mating. Actually, there is need. There is no problem. But the civilization is so made that oh, there is no shelter. They are lying down on the park, on the street. Why? There is no necessity. But they have created such civilization that a certain section of people are voluntarily are being obliged, lying down on the street, on the park, no dress, no food, no uh, fixed, fixed our sex life, everything is topsy-turvy. Everything is topsy-turvy. But this is not civilization. This is not civilization. Then how they can understand God? Their mind is always disturbed and full of anxiety. So first of all, you have to come to the state of tranquility. Prasanna manasu. Evang prasanna manasu. Prasanna manasu is always jubilant. That is, that can be achieved by this process. Bhagavad bhakti yoga Oh, by devotional service, no, by no other process. Even prasanna manasu bhagavad bhakti yoga. <clears throat> One can be jubilant only 
by uh, practicing Bhagavad Bhakti Yoga. There are many other yoga system, karma yoga, gyana yoga, dhyana yoga, hato yoga, everything. Uh, you endeavor for spiritual enlightenment that is called yoga. So there are different types of yoga. But real yoga is Bhagavad Bhakti, devotional yoga. Uh. Therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita, it is said, Yoginamapi sarvesam. Of all the yogis, there are different types of yoga system and different types of yogis also. <clears throat> but Krishna says, of all the yogis, Yoginamapi sarvesam, Madhgatantaratmana sadhyavan bhajati jomang. Sami Yukta Tamavata. That yogi who is devotee and always thinking of me or thinking of Krishna within the heart. Yogi Namapi Sarvi Sam Madhgata Antaratmana Sadhyavan Faithful Vajate. This is bhajan. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. So, <clears throat> he is first class jay. who is chanting Hare Krishna mantra and thinking of Krishna within his heart. First class. Jay. That is Bhagavad Bhakti Yoga. <clears throat> and if he does it nicely, according to the rules and regulation uh, in the beginning, uh, then he becomes prasanna manasa, prasanna manasa, enlightened. Uh, there is no more any lamentation or hankering. This is the sign. Evang prasanna manasu bhagavata bhakti yogata. Then you can understand what is God. A God is not so cheap. Come on, I shall show you God. You haven't got to follow any rules and regulations. People want to be cheated, therefore there are so many cheaters. They take advantage of it because they want everything very cheap. Uh, that is not possible. Oh. This is the stage. Prasanna manasa. Oh. Then you can understand what is God. Bhagavad Tattva, because it is a science. Eh? If somebody says, come on, I shall teach you the science of chemistry within a second, give me some money. Is it possible? Eh? If somebody says, I shall teach you mathematics, come on, give me some money. So why these rascals are misled? If it is a science. It is not sentiment. It is science. There was uh, understanding of uh, the Supreme Personality of God without reference to these scientific books, Vedic literature. It is simply disturbing, simply rascal down. Simply, uh, creating disturbance at least, uh, cheating some people. They are cheated, they do not get anything. Create some disturbance. That is the instruction of Rupa Gushan. Suti Siti Puranadi Pancharatriki Bidhing Bina Oikantiki Hare Bhakti Utpata Evakalpat. Utpat. Utpat means disturbance. So many rascals, without reference to the Vedic literature, uh, reveal scriptures. Uh, uh, Suti Sriti, these are Vedic literatures. Suti Sriti Puran, Panchratri Gividhi. Uh, without reference to the, all these books, if anyone possesses himself that he has understood God and devotion and service, it is simply disturbance, creating disturbance. That's all. Suti Sriti Puranadi, because it is a science, how you can manufacture it? Uh, it is not that thing. Uh, 
therefore any religion without scientific understanding through philosophy it is simply sentiment it is not religion uh, and philosophy without religious understanding is mental speculation that is also useless philosophy who does not search ultimately what is true what is god that philosophy is mental speculation and the knowledge of god without philosophy is simply sentiment this would be common uh, to understand god our relationship with god our duty the everything should be understood uh scientifically bhagavat tattva vigyanam therefore this word has been used vigyanam visheshagyan a gyanam ordinary knowledge and b when the this word is added b means visheshata particularly uh for practical application this vigyan so this vigyanam this science can be understood by mukta sanga Uh, who is freed from the lower modes of material nature, uh, especially tamogun and rajo. Uh, so, uh, do not be 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 fooled by so many rascals that Bhagavad Gita began on the science of God understanding is so cheap that anyone can give you. Uh, by simply one day's association with some rascal, you see, this is not so possible. Yes, it has to be studied. It has to be practiced. Uh, it has to be realized. Uh, so this beginning is being stated in the Samadha Bhagavat. Therefore, in the beginning, in the Samadha Bhagavat, Dharma pro jita koi tabatta. All rascal lam going on under the name of religion, cheating religion, they are completely kicked out from Simad Bhagavat. Oh. Simply on scientific understanding, we are presenting what is Krishna consciousness, not for sentimentalism. What is the purpose? Said that out of many thousands of ordinary men, one fortunate man endeavors for perfection of life. Mostly they are conducted by the modes of passion and ignorance, and thus they are engaged always in lust, desire, hankerings, ignorance, and sleep. Out of many such man-like animals, there is actually a man. Man-like man- animals. They saw with two hands, two legs, but actually they are animals, four-legged. Uh, Two legs have been transformed into two hands. Uh, go on. Out of many such man-like animals, there is actually a man who knows the responsibility of human life, and thus tries to make life perfect by following the prescribed duties. And out of many, and out of such many thousands of persons who thus attain success in human life, one may know scientifically. About the personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna. Yeah. So it is not so easy to understand Sri Krishna. Manusanam sahasri shu kasti jyoti siddha jatatano pi siddhyanam. Those have endeavoured for perfection of life. Out of many such person, one can hardly understand Krishna. It is not so easy, but. It is by Krishna's grace, Krishna being very compassionate with these fallen souls of this age, he appeared as Lord Chaitanya and distributed Krishna. That is his prerogative. That is his right. If Krishna wants to distribute himself freely, that is a different thing. Otherwise, it is not so easy to understand Krishna. That's why to earn. One million dollar is not so easy, but if you are fortunate, you meet somebody who can distribute million dollars at a time. That is a different thing. 
देर फॉर लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु वॉज रिकॉग्नाइज बाय रूप गोस्वामी नमो महावदानाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय माई डियर लॉर्ड यू आर द मोस्ट मेनिफिसेंट ऑफ ऑल इनकारनेशन द अदर इनकारनेशन पीपल कुड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड बट यू आर फ्रीली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग योर सेल्फ कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम ने कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम ने गौरत्य से नम देर फॉर वी हैव टू फॉलो दी फुट फुट स्टेप्स ऑफ रूप गोस्वामी रूपानुग देन वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड लॉर्ड चैतन्य एंड इफ वी गेट फेवर ऑफ लॉर्ड चैतन्य वी कैन वेरी इजीली अंडरस्टैंड कृष्ण दिस इज द प्रॉस In the same Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita 1815, 1855, it is also said that scientific knowledge of Sri Krishna is understood only by the process of devotional service or yeah, bhakti yoga. Yeah, here also it is confirmed. Bhagavad Bhakti Yoga. Ah, uh, it is not said by mystic yoga, by hatha yoga, by jnana yoga, by karma yoga. No. Ah, uh, Bhagavad Bhakti Yoga. If you want to understand <clears throat> the science of God, then we have to adopt this devotional service, not by yoga. Otherwise, uh, uh, in Bhagavad it would have been said by karma yoga, ta, by jnana yoga, ta, by hatha yoga, ta, by dhyana yoga. Ta. No, it is clearly said Bhagavad Bhakti yoga. Ta. Uh. भगवत तत्व विज्ञान जाए मुक्त संग से जाए इफ यू आर स्टील आफ्टर ज्ञान जोग ध्यान जोग यू कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड गॉड इट इज क्लियरली से भगवत गीता ऑल्सो इट इज क्लियरली से भक्तिया माम भी जाना सिंपली थ्रू डिवोशन सर्विस सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो गॉड देन यू हैव टू फॉलो the prescribed rules and regulation of bhagavad bhakti yoga it is very simple it is made, made very easy especially in this age <coughs> simply by chanting hare krishna mantra is so made easy but we are so unfortunate that we do not take advantage of this eta disi tava kripa bhagavan mama pi दुर्दैव ईदृश मे हा जनीनाग लाइ चैतन्य महाप्रभु लेमेंट माइंड एंड लॉर्ड यू आर सो कंपेसनेट एंड मर्सिफुल अपन एस दैट इन दिस एज यू हैव डिसेंडेड इन योर एज योर नेम एंड वन कैन चांड दिस नेम विदाउट एनी रेगुलेशन विदाउट एनी रेगुलेशन नियमित स्मरण इन काल Uh, any time, any circumstances, one can chant this Hari Krishna mantra. Uh, Krishna has become so liberal. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, "Ita adhisi ita vogi pa Bhagavan mama pi my dear Lord. Although you are so much merciful upon me, still I am so unfortunate." Ita adhisi ita vogi pa Bhagavan mama pi duddai ba idrish. I am so unfortunate. Dudrisha, dudai va idrisha mi ha jani na. I could not be attached to chanting a Hare Krishna mantra. We am so unfortunate. You see, the things have been made so easy, actually, but unfortunate class of men they cannot take to you. Thank you. Thank you.